Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. So today in this video we'll see one of the important interview question which is asked in PWC. Okay, so this is a PWC's interview question. In the first take round they have asked you this question. Okay, I got this question from uh, one of my LinkedIn connection. Okay. So if you have this kind of question, you can also um, send me via mail which is given to this uh, video description. I will try to solve and try to post it uh, in my channel. Okay. Okay. So without wasting time, let's start the video today. So coming to our workspace. So what it is asked. So they have asked that retrieve information about consecutive login streaks for employee who have logged in for at least two consecutive days okay so what is this basically basically they have given us one data set okay uh, like this where um, uh, there is three columns first column is for employee id second is log log data whenever the employee uh, logged in okay the date log date basically the log date okay the flag flag is in and y y means uh, employee have logged in n means employee have not logged logged okay that day logged in that day okay so this thing they and they have given us okay so first what we will do uh, the data has come uh, in a batch data as a batch data okay suppose uh, you think the data has come as a batch data the this date date column also formatted as a string a string format okay so it is a string format flag is string employee id is integer okay so they want the output like this so consecutive login means uh, the if the employee has logged in logged in on second then the employee should log in on third also fourth also this this is the consecutive login okay so ek ke baad ek din jo jo login hua okay there is no gap between between the login date okay so that thing we need to um, uh, we need to find out but here they have given a one condition the login should be at least two consecutive consecutive days okay so that that employee we need to find out so the output will be like this they want the output like this okay so from 2 to 3 the employee 102 has two consecutive day login uh, empl employee one sorry 102 and 102 have three consecutive login from 5 to 7 okay there is a gap for for uh, the employee 102 hasn't log in okay and employee 103 also have two consecutive day login from 5 to 6 okay like this way we need to uh, get the output okay so without wasting time i'll start explaining the thing okay so i think you have understood the problem statement okay so first uh, i have created the one data frame uh, with their data okay so as I as I have shown the date uh, log dated in string format for uh, performing spark activity mm, we need to make it in a date format okay so that we can perform the spark activity very easily okay so first uh, that I will do okay so here I'm, I'm converting into it into date format okay so i'm getting one error let me check what kind of error i'm getting okay well, let me run once again it is then after that okay now i'm getting the data okay now if you see i'm getting the log log date as a date format okay log date format I'm using here the two date function. Okay, so uh, uh, the log date, the log log date column, the log date column. I'm converting it to uh, normal Databricks 
date date format okay which is y y y y m m and d d okay so using date format how to use the date format that i have explained in my uh, this video yes okay uh, you can go to my playlist and you can see the videos okay the two date format how to use okay so here i can't ex uh, explain video will uh, go lengthy okay now uh, what i'll do they want the data on login only so the employee have logged in two consecutive days at least two consecutive days they uh, want the data so we don't need to uh, consider the when the employee has not logged in so we can filter the thing from here only the uh, flag y wala data we can consider so that's why what we'll do we'll filter the data first okay so here filter da i'll use filter da okay so da dot filter okay so call mm, flag so flag should be what would be the flag equals to equals to y only only y wala flag we will consider so if i'll do filter df dot show then what it will return it will return the only that um, that day and that uh, employee id who have logged in and which days okay only y wala flag data we have now from here we need to segregate the data and we need to uh, get the consecutive login thing okay so with, for getting the consecutive login thing i will uh, create one uh, window based on the uh, employee id okay so so what i'll do i'll import the in window function from here pipe part dot sql dot function from window dot window import window okay now now once again uh, uh, so now i'll create the window first okay so um, D, uh, window df wdf i'll create the window first from the filter df okay so filter df filter df dot so for creating the how to create the windows that is also uh, i have explained in, in my videos okay you can go and check it or you can check the i button uh, where i have um, provided the link of that window function wala video okay so now i have written the code now uh, filter da dot show okay now i am getting the rank okay so uh, uh, in partition i have given employee id and in order i have given the log date okay log date format so based on that i am getting the rank for each and every employee id window okay so now what i will do i will take one column here with column one new column with column d so in date column i uh, i will take the date 
from the log date format the 3 7 2 3 okay the date thing i will take so how i'll take so using the day function that i have already imported here okay so if i will run it once again i'm getting the date extracted date from here okay date value so now now what i will do i will import once again one another new column okay of where i will get the absolute value date dif the difference between date and rank okay N the absolute value i will extract okay so i am showing you how to do that so diff okay uh, i'll take one another column it is it will be called diff difference okay so there i will extract the absolute value so um, call rank minus call date okay so now if i will run this cell I am getting the difference. Okay, so from here I am getting one group. You can see one zero one. There is differences, different different difference values, different. Okay, but for one zero two, the cons for the consecutive day logging, the difference value is same. You can see one and one. Okay, for one zero two, another consecutive day logging also. The difference value is same 2 2 2 okay now for 103 also the if uh, 103 also consecutive day uh, login it's it happened so the difference value is same so we need to use this logic here so so how we will use this logic and uh, we will uh, we'll get the data we we'll get the data like this uh, where, where the like this so here we will use some aggregate aggregation ok so I will write the code So this is the code okay i have already written uh, so then that i am putting it in only okay so if i'll run it if i'll show final if i'll do final da dot show so it will give me the data like this so start date and end date it has given so what i am i am doing here we are using aggregate function on group by okay first we are doing the group performing the group by operation on employee id and diff diff column okay and after that now what i we are getting we are getting the uh, data based on the start date and end date okay so here we are, we are performing the group by operation uh, on employee ID and div as I told you and after that we are performing the aggregate uh, we are using the aggregate function for performing some every aggregation it's uh, first using the min mean date mini minimum date it will extract it will be the start date and um, the maximum date from the long date format it will be the end date for each and every employee okay after that dropping the uh, different column okay so i'm getting the data like this but here they want the data at least two consecutive days so that's why 
we need to remove the one one wala consecutive day we need to remove so we can here use the filter option filter uh, the consecutive day should be greater equals to two okay now if i'll print the data frame i'm getting the correct output okay so this this is the thing little bit complicated but uh, but if you understood the logic then it it, it will be uh, okay for you it will be very much easy for you you can uh, perform this kind of question easily okay so don't skip this video and uh, try to understand okay uh, if you are not able to understand in a single go try to uh, try to watch it uh, second time and try to understand the thing okay uh, if you have still any doubt you can um, ping on the video comment section or you can connect with me via mail id or uh, uh, telegram okay so thank you for watching this video if you like my video please do like share and subscribe please um, uh, subscribe our channel for supporting us okay uh, if you guys will support then only we can reach to maximum audience okay thank you for watching this video bye